Hello, and welcome to what I'm now calling a rambling review, because I still have, don't have time to write these properly, so, um, <laughs> yeah, I probably will one day, but not, but not yet. So I'm going to be doing a review for absolutely anything, and seeing as I don't think this is out in the US yet, I'm going to do a little bit here that completely doesn't even cover the film and just give you my opinion on it. And then after, I'll go into a more opinionated, longer version, but I still won't put any spoilers in that, so you can stay for either. Um, I didn't like this film. Um, it's probably the least funny comedy I've seen in a very long time, especially with the amount of comedy talent in it, like the whole cast of Monty Python, Simon Pegg, <laughs> Eddie Izzard, Joanna Lumley, a ton of awesome people. Um, but it just... No, I every joke fell flat for me like except from um, Robin Williams as Dennis the dog that made me laugh a few times but they kind of overuse that a little bit because it's kind of all they have for like anything so even that falls flat like everything's kind of bad about this film uh, the people I went with some of them seem to like it but as for me I just kind of thought the whole thing was just a bad kind of film um, and I really wouldn't recommend it, which I, I'm kind of sad that I couldn't recommend it. So, yeah, that's the short version. So at the start of this film, seeing as this comes out the same week as Pixels in the UK, which I haven't seen and I will not be seeing, uh, but I do know the beginning of that film is that we send a, uh, a drone or a probe off into space and aliens find it and shit happens because of that. Uh, which is the same as the beginning of this film, which for about five seconds I was confused and wondered if I had wandered into the wrong cinema. I really wasn't sure, because it is exactly the same start. But the pretty much story of this is aliens find the probe and decide to judge us and see if we can be part of an inter intergalactic civilization. And the way they choose that is by giving one random person on Earth the power to do absolutely anything. And the power ends up going to Simon Pegg, who is a failing writer and school teacher who's in love with Kate Beckinsale who's his neighbour and he gets the power to do absolutely anything and kind of really does nothing he does a lot of jokes that the joke is hey I'm gonna make a wish that is misconstrued and it's gonna come out slightly different but then he never ever decides to retry the wish wish once it fails once he just gives up on it and it's pretty much the film it's just those jokes and they can only be funny for so long and they really aren't that funny to begin with. Pretty much the whole other half of the film uh, is with Kate Beckinsale's character, which we spent a lot of time with. I thought she was just going to be like love interest, but they kind of do almost, I don't, they don't go that far, but they do some kind of gross, a little bit sexist, weird stuff with um, uh, Simon Pegg's friend's character, Ray, uh, is in love with another teacher, and Simon Pegg's character says for that woman to worship Ray. And she then forms like a weird cult around him. And even Simon Pegg's character uses, thinks, or at least thinks he uses his power to get someone into him. And it's just, it almost is a bit gross, but it doesn't quite go the whole way. Um, which is why I think they gave Kate Beckinsale's character more screen time and tried to give her character. So that she wouldn't just be an object, she would be a full character. But the problem with that, she has two states. One is super boring and one is an object. Um, her, her character is a... She works at a TV station under the BBC and gathers questions about authors so that this TV show host, played by Joanna Lumley, who has like two scenes, it's really weird, um, so that she can ask authors questions about her book, uh, about their book. Uh, but she doesn't actually ask them questions about the book, she just kind of berates authors. And that upsets Kate Beckinsale's character, because she, she cares about books and is annoyed annoyed that people don't. Um, and you think that would tie in with Simon Pegg's character, who is writing a book. But not that doesn't tie in once. Um, it literally is just their neighbours, so they, they, they like each other. That is it. There's nothing to do with... Simon Pe Pegg's book is just forgotten. Like, it's literally the first scene you see with Simon Pegg. And it's brought up every now and again, but you would think, kind of like Limitless, where he's writing a book, because apparently a struggling author is a nice stage to have your character in at the start. Um, in Limitless, Bradley Cooper gets his power, and then the first thing he does is write his book. But Simon Pegg never once, he does one thing about the book, but never finishes it, never asks for it to be done. It doesn't do anything with that, which is really weird. You'd think that would tie Kate Beckinsale's character and 
him together. His name's Neil, I think. I don't even remember her name. It's probably Kate or something. I'm going to look. I'm going to look what her name is. It's Catherine, apparently. I didn't know that. So, yeah, she's um, either doing that shit with the book, which that's really, really boring. Um, or her producer's trying to fuck her. Some American sergeant dude trying to fuck her. Or her friend is telling her to fuck people. And that's pretty much what it is. Like, she... I was really boring. It was just, like, this weird... Weird floating around character. Everyone just wants to fuck around. It's really kind of... It doesn't help. And they... Her friend's telling her to have sex with someone. Is I guess it's a way to give her some, like, urgency. And make her less of an object. And it's her choice who she has sex with. But it doesn't feel that way. Ever. She just... And I think even her character's like, this is bullshit. Like, at some point... And I just think too much time spent on her. Either like, they should have made her way less boring, and maybe, or maybe not got Kate Beckinsale. I don't know where they chose her. I, I I don't know what made her specifically important for the role, or why they thought, yeah, this is has to. There's a lot of other people who probably could have done this better. Um, it's weird to me. Uh, and the other another part of the film is with the aliens who are judging Simon Pegg's character through the whole film, and. This film must have been had a really small budget because all the effects look kind of just bad. And that also carries on to the aliens. Like, we spend quite a bit of time with them. And it jumps from, like, realistic London, like there's no animation, no nothing, to really obviously special effects aliens. I think it would have been better if they had used some, like, practical effects or just not the weird CG they did. And also the aliens just kind of... Seeing as they're, like, voiced by Monty Python, you think they'd be pretty funny... Um, I don't think I laughed at them once. They they have a few jokes about not understanding English or with like the weird English culture that's been done millions of times. And then they have to pay off them existing. They have a little twist at the end, which I don't even know if you can call it that. It's just literally one of them renames himself. That is the twist. It's just kind of... Ugh. They don't do any... They're, they're really pointless. They're like just a vehicle to give Simon Pegg powers to do stuff and he doesn't do anything he, he makes his dog talk Robin Williams then voices Dennis the dog which is probably the only time I actually chuckled um, I don't want to be <laughs> harsh but like I didn't laugh only with Dennis the dog and then I think I said earlier that's kind of run to the ground as well and then because this film like when you have a character you can literally do anything like how do you add tension to the end of that film and they probably do the worst thing ever which is like I don't want to spoil it but it's fucking dumb and when you watch the end happening anytime Simon Pegg doesn't just wish himself out of the situation when there's many times he could it's just annoying and ridiculous and the character you you would expect like a character to learn after this the, the the powers of doing anything are wrong but he really doesn't and it has a cheap cheap out ending that just kind of makes the whole film pointless um, the ending is really fucking bad uh, I don't I just can't think of really anything positive to say about this film Simon Pegg's character is fine and he's funny every now and again with Dennis really uh, the aliens suck. Kate Beckinsale is boring throughout the whole film. Is that how you say her name? Is it Beckinsale or Beckinsdale? Uh, I think it's Beckinsale. It's what, so yeah, that's, 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 that's really... I can't really even be angry because it was just nothing. It was no, like, And as I said earlier, there were people who were with me who enjoyed the film. And I think a lot of it comes from just the premise. Um, they do so little with it that you leave the cinema going, Hey, if I had the power to do absolutely anything, what would I do? Which is kind of a nice thing. And then within five minutes, you've come up with 50 things that are way more interesting than what happened in that film. And as I said, when he does something that ends up failing, he then just gives up on it. He goes, he doesn't try it again. He does. It's just annoying. It's, you have a really kind of interesting premise that they do nothing. Nothing at all with. Would I recommend this film? Not really. Um, go and watch other films with these actors in that were a thousand times better than this. I can't even think of... I can't think of a person who would like this. As I said, there were people who did with me, but I can't tell why. It was just... I don't think anyone really enjoyed this film. It just kind of falls flat all around. You might laugh once or twice, but I honestly laugh more at Ted 2 than I did at this, which that's sad to me. Um, but yeah, 
Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll be next time. I'll be back next time. Hopefully, when I've been to see a better film than the last two I've been to see. Because fuck. <laughs>